Good evening, folks, and welcome to the Sci-Fi Corner. I'm your host, Sean Patrick Gershon, and I got a special guest with me today, Yusari Huertes, and uh, he's doing his first ever movie review on YouTube, so you guys are a witness to greatness right here. Uh, so I'm going to ask him a few questions about the movie. Uh, so the movie we saw today was Disney's Onward. Uh, and this is the newest release from Pixar from Disney. So, yeah, uh, as I saw, it was number one at the box office this week. So, yeah, we just got out of the theater fresh on our minds. So let's talk a little bit about it. Uh, so I'm going to ask you, sorry, a few questions uh, and his thoughts overall on the film. Uh, so first question I wanted to ask is, uh, who was your favorite character in the film? My favorite character was the heavy metal guy. <laughs> That's the dude's brother. He's like a heavy metal dude. He wears like the old school denim jacket with all these patches and stuff. But one of the bands was Hades, I think. <laughs> uh, and he had a cool van, right? Yeah, with a little a big unicorn on the side. Yeah, airbrush style. <laughs> uh, so, like, the basic story of it was there was these two brothers. They're like trolls or whatever. And they live in their own world, which is pretty much exactly like Earth. They have every, everything that we have. They have cars, and they have a normal house, except that it looks like a giant mushroom. <laughs> and dragons flying around. <laughs> and, and some of the people are like monsters, like dragons, and uh, you know, you know, fictional characters that you see in Dungeons and Dragons type stuff. Um, but yeah, they have cell phones, and they have you know. <laughs> they have cars, and they have... Uh, Schools. Hmm? Right, they go to school, except it's Mushroom High School or something like that. <laughs> Dragon High School. Yeah. So, uh, what was one of your favorite scenes in the film? Uh, my favorite scene was um, when they were flying through the air. Yeah, that was cool, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that... And then the main characters are these two brothers, and uh, one of them's like a skinny, nerdy dude. I think it was Tom Holland that played him, the guy that plays Spider-Man in the new Spider-Man movies. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, what happens is they lost their father. His fa his, their father passed away at some point, um, but he left them something uh, and wrapped up in a blanket, and it turned out... Uh, that he was actually a wizard. <laughs> yeah. And uh, so they left them the staff, the wizard staff. And it has like a thing on it and he can do magic with it and stuff. <laughs> no. And uh, and there was also a note in with the staff that... Uh, that it, it said uh, that with this staff you can bring me back to life for one whole day. Right. <laughs> One whole day. Uh, so they start to do it, right? Yeah. And uh, what happens? Uh, <laughs> the brother messes him up and he just, it turns out to be the bottom half of him. Yeah. <laughs> and the top half doesn't come through. Yeah. And all you see is like glowing stuff and where is the rest of his body is supposed to be. <laughs> you can like put your hands through his body. Yeah. And another thing is the brother, right, the heavy metal guy, is yeah. like a a big fan of the card game that's like magic or whatever. And yeah. you know, Dungeons and Dragons type card game, and he's like a w wicked nerd, right? Yeah. And uh, so he believes this stuff for real, but now something real is happening. They have a staff that does magic, and his, they find out his father was a wizard, so... And the brother doesn't believe that... The, uh, that everything was in real life, but it turns out the brother was right and the other brother is wrong. Exactly. <laughs> but uh, it's funny though that the, the skinny kid is like, you know, the star of the movie. He's the only one that can use the staff, I guess. The other brother, the, he tries for like an hour, you know, trying to to say the passages that's supposed to bring the father back, but it doesn't work for him. So they find out later on that it has to be the brother that does it. He's got the magic touch, apparently. Because <laughs> he never saw his dad, so yeah. he, prob he probably he's probably the only one that can use the staff. 
yeah. the wood log. Right. So they so they find out they have to go on like a mission and it's like a big quest and it turns out to be like, you know, a Lord of the Rings type thing. They they run into all these monsters and it's like a a road trip. And the one kid um never learned to drive but he tries to <laughs> He tries to learn to drive, but the brother makes him, forces him onto the highway, and it's funny, it reminded me of, like, Route 1, he's trying to merge onto traffic, and there's, like, thousands of cars coming, he's freaking out, ah! He's like, <laughs> turn, you can do this! Yeah. And he uh, just does it and cuts through all the traffic. But they and, they, and then they fight the little fairy monster guys, they look like bikers or something. <laughs> yeah, and the AC and the v RV is really powerful. Yeah, right. Powerful enough to blow someone to the back door. <laughs> and then the other, and then the brother, uh, the heavy metal brother, ends up shrinking somehow, right? <laughs> yeah, and then the brother's on the, on his shoulder and... The powers were off, mm -hmm. so he. The powers were off, so he ends up growing back to normal on the brother's lap when he's driving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was funny. <laughs> and then he's a big, heavy dude, and he just falls right on top of him, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> While he's driving. <laughs> and he's like, "Get off of me! Can't yeah. see." So the basic quest is they have to find the like crystal diamond thing right and that will give the, them the power to be able to make the father completely whole again yeah because they had one diamond they put it in that's what brought the first half of his body then they had to go on another crest to get the another diamond to bring back the whole body right exactly very good <laughs> he's doing good right guys <laughs> Mm. Uh, so, and yeah. Again, he, they only have one day. Right, one day with him, and once he, once that day's over, the father disappears again. You know, turns to gold and disappears. Right, and another thing is the, the one brother, the big guy. Uh, he didn't get to have a lot of memories with the father, you know. So it's really important to him to get to do this, so it could. We also find out that he never was able to say goodbye, you know, when he was dying. You know? yeah. So it's kind of the sad part of the story, too, you know. Yeah, and when he... Oh, and there's also a curse. Right, right. Um, when he takes the other... When you take the other diamond, a curse happens. And eventually when he kills the <laughs> curse dragon thing... Um, he didn't get to see his dad because all all the rocks fell around him, so we had to peek through holes to see his dad. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Very good analysis, you sorry. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. So what are your overall thoughts on the film? Did you enjoy it? Yeah, it was good. Yeah. yeah. What would your rating be? Like, um, f 1 to 10, what would you give it score? 10. Like... 10 out of 10? Yeah. Wow, you must have um, really loved what, it, huh? 1 out of 100. 1 out of 100, 100. Oh. <laughs> so if it was 1 to 100, it would be 100. Yeah. Wow, that's quite a rating, so I guess that's a h very high recommendation from Usari Huertes doing his first ever movie review. So let's give it up for him. And thank you for joining me, Sean Patrick Urshan, in the Sci-Fi Corner. And thank you, Usari. Say goodbye to them. Bye. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Have a good one.